And she had this pattern that she had made and she was trying to expand the pattern so that she could put this gradient on it and she could not get it to go, right? And the, the problem there, so again, if I enlarge this, then I'm enlarging the pattern, right? So what I had done here is I said, okay, well, you've got that pattern. Let's just have it as black and white and draw it in the area that you want, right? So this is it, this was it expanded. So I should draw a new square. Just a basic fill, thank you very much. No outline, very good. We go to your symbols. Sorry. I should be able to eyedropper the pattern. There we go. Okay, so there was her pattern, but now she wants to put this gradient on it. And you can't do that unless you expand the pattern, right? So you've got that pattern and you say, expand. It expands it into a group. And when you ungroup it, what do we get here? You get a nightmare of clip groups. Look at all of that. Each one of those is a clip group. Okay, so inside your clip group, right, is this, and each one of those is a clip group. And you're like, what the hell? How am I supposed to work with this? How am I supposed to fill that? So my answer was this. I first said, okay, I'm going to ungroup and release every clipping mask. So I just go ungroup and I release the clipping mask. And then when I've got all these clip groups, I just go ahead and release the clipping mask again. So just keep releasing clipping masks until you've got nothing but compound paths and all of these stupid clipping masks that shouldn't be there to begin with, okay? So that's half the problem solved. But how do I get rid of all of these invisible clipping masks? I don't wanna be in wireframe and deleting those one by one, right? Well, let's remember that they have an appearance of nothing, don't they? So you can use your magic wand. Set your magic wand tolerance to zero and click on one of them and you're gonna get all of them. And you can delete them. Boom, okay? So now I have all my compound paths. I can release those, make them into a single compound path and put the gradient on it. But this is the kind of problem you're gonna run into with Illustrator because the software is, forgive me, so absolutely poorly written, right? That when you expand one of these things, you get this mess, right? So now I can take all of those and it's real simple. I can just command eight and turn them into one single compound path and put a gradient on it that easily. So this is, you know, this is where experience, just pure unadulterated experience with all the glitches in Illustrator has given me this knowledge. So as you guys run into these problems, by all means ask, right?